Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Technology Coordinator team in the School District of Waukesha, and I've just got a quick Mac tip that might help some of you uh, who are interested in creating sound recordings for your students and like to share those sound recordings up to Blackboard, um, but have some problems with the format of those, those sound recordings. Um, this is a common problem that happens in video and audio and even sometimes in images where there are literally hundreds of different formats out there of video and audio files and not all of them can be supported by all applications and not all of them can be played by certain applications so um, that's something, some, uh, something you'll have to work with and the term we use for doing this work, uh, making it play in different different formats, play in different areas is called converting. So we're going to need to do a conversion. So the first thing that we're doing is uh, we're going to need to to create some sort of a sound recording and most of you know how to do that already. Uh, if you don't, um, I'm just showing you quickly how to do that. I'm in QuickTime Player here, uh, which if you're on a Mac comes with it uh, in the, the fully functional version here. and what we're going to do in that case is create a new audio recording. I'm not going to do that here just because I'm using this to create my screen recording, but using QuickTime Player to create an audio recording is simple as uh, click New Audio Recording, click the Record button, and then when you're done, hit Stop, and you can save it. This is going to save the uh, audio recording in an MP4 file or uh, MPEG4 file, and you can see an example of that right here. Um, if I show you the info on that one, um, let's see if we can get more info on this guy. It's a seven second recording and the end extension is M4A. I'm sorry, not MP4, M4A. And that doesn't work if you want to upload sound to Blackboard. So what we have to do is get it in a format that does work with Blackboard. Thankfully, if you're on a Mac, you can make this a really easy transition. So, um, I've now recorded my file using QuickTime uh, Player, QuickTime Recorder there. Now I am going to open up iTunes. And here's iTunes. And what I'm going to do is go to, uh, with iTunes up here, I am going to go to iTunes Preferences. I'm going to click on Import Settings here. And I can change the kinds of encoders that will work. There's two that will work for uh, getting something into Blackboard, and that is MP3 encoder and WAV encoder. All right, so I've got MP3 encoder selected, as I think that's the most versatile one. WAV would be really good if you're, if you're sending things to students' homes and they need to play them on a PC. So I've got that all turned on now. Now I just need to get something into uh, that that sound into my uh, iTunes. So, in order for me to do this, okay, I'm going to right click on the file and open with iTunes. You're going to hear the quality of my recording here. All right, and it's called Sound, and there it is. All right. So once I've got Sound selected in iTunes, all I need to do is right click on it. And now that I've got that, uh, that MP3 encoder on, I can create an MP3 version of the file, which I, I go ahead and click that, and I do that. And you'll see here that I've got my MP3 version. Now, I've done this once already, but um, here's my MP3 version of it. And the difference is it's called sound.mp3. All right. Now, that's the file that I'm going to want to upload to Blackboard. And so I can go ahead and do that in lots of different ways. I'm going to take it into Blackboard here. And I'm going to go Build Content, Audio, Browse My Computer. And you'll see I've got different kinds of files sitting here. The one that I need is sound.mp3. I go ahead and I type everything that I need to do here. Test for mp3. And select the proper options. And in just a moment, you'll see I actually have two of them here. Does it work? Yes, it does. So here you go, and you can get that MP3 right in there. So this is one way of converting audio into something that's useful in Blackboard. Hope that helps, and as always, if you have questions, feel free to email us. Thanks for listening.